All right, everybody, today we're going to be putting together this scary clown arch from Home Depot. This was last year's item. Uh, it came in this rather large box that uh, comes up to the top of my rib cage. So very, very large box. Not so wide, though. Um, and then when you open it up, you have these two bases that are that were covered um, with plastic for protection. And then you have this large layout inside the box. Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry, we got Halloween music playing in the background. Didn't expect this uh, Twilight theme to be so loud. Anyway, so from this, we're supposed to lay all this out on the ground. So I'm gonna pause it and pick up from there. All right, everybody, the first part of the instructions were to lay all six pieces out on the ground. Now they said to lay, um, lay it down face down. I am not doing that because these are just little plastic eyeballs and nose and I don't want to risk damaging those or knocking them off. Um, because as you know, these little light-up stands things, they're just very, very thin fabric. Okay, so the next, the next part of the build is you connect um, every piece has a metal bar and it just fits in to a corresponding bar. Um, and I'll tell you right now, all of these sections are connected by your lights. And it's a pain in the butt to put together. Everything's connected, so it's hard to move around. They want you to tuck in these cords so um, they're not able to be seen. All right, so you just slide that in, in theory, <laughs> and you've got a rod here that you're gonna have to slide in. So I'm gonna do this all the way around, and we're gonna take a break and be right back with you when I get done with that. All right, guys, this is where it would have been beneficial to actually listen to the directions and lay it with the back facing up. Um, you have these connecting rods right here um, that go into these on either side. They're stabilizing bars, and then they're going to be into the base to stand this up. Um, and let me just tell you, what a horrid build. Um, this thing has taken three people and it's all because, like I told you, it's already pre-connected with your electrical wires that makes it so hard. So no fun. So I'm gonna add the stabilizing bars in the base and be right back. All right, guys, it's put together. I wanna tell you, this was one of the hardest builds I've ever done. Um, and I, like it i like it a lot i got it on sale for like 75 percent off um and it's a good thing i did because just the amount of energy like i said it took three of us to put this thing together um for putting this together if i'd have paid the full price i have been mad um but anyway here it is put together i like it now i'm gonna go through the pros it's cool i like the way the lights and the eyes I don't know, they almost look like they're swirling inside, the light-up nose. Um, I'm not handy. I know a lot of people take plywood and make huge entrances like this. I'm not handy, so this was perfect for me. I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, so I love the look, and uh, I will say a kind of pro and con is I love that we're going to walk through it, which is what I wanted, but... There's not much room here. Um, I'm thinking anybody over six foot are, is gonna have to duck to get in here. All right, so what we did, since I did not put it together face down, which I highly recommend, don't do make my mistake, we stood it up and you have the brace bar here with cotter pin, it comes down. The base slides over two poles there. There you go, it slides over on that end. 
and then you got a slide in here with a cotter pin although this one was missing a cotter pin on this side um, and same thing over here um, and this is the back try to tuck in all your wires as best you could I should have tucked that into the back and didn't I missed and uh, right here see what I'm talking about I put the pole together here and left this on the outside of the pole and now I've got it all zip tied together and this son of a gun is not coming apart until it comes apart until it falls apart because wow anyway so that's what I'm talking about don't don't leave all your wires out because you'll have something like this um big negative big negative not only do the wires to plug it in go right in the come out right beside where you walk in there's two of them two of them and they're not very long so uh, I guess several extension cords to bring it out back and then plug into something yeah that that's a big negative right there um, so anyway so there it is the clown arts from Home Depot 2021 pretty cool I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it six out of ten cauldrons um, I'll be honest this I don't know what it's called this Christmassy material type stuff I mean it just it's so thin and punctures so easily it's hard to give any prop that has that much more because it's gonna it's gonna get ripped up um but for what it is i uh, i like it i like it so six out of ten cauldrons Alrighty, until next video stay bubbly